What's up, boys and girls, if you're tired of Red Dead Redemption to crashing in story mode, this guide will cover everything you need to get it fixed. From updating drivers to adjusting virtual memory, I've got all the top fixes right here. Follow along step by step, and if this video helps you out, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tips. Step 1. Verify game files first up, we'll check for any corrupted game files, here's how to do it. If you're on Steam, open your Steam library, right-click on Red Dead Redemption 2, and select Properties. Under the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files, this will scan your game files and replace any that are damaged. For Rockstar Launcher users, open your library, click on the Settings icon for Ardor 2, and choose Verify Integrity. Running this process can often solve crash issues by repairing the game files. Step 2. Update graphics drivers next. Let's ensure your graphics drivers are up to date. An outdated driver is a common cause of game crashes, so here's how to update. On Windows, right-click the Start menu, open Device Manager, expand Display Adapters, right-click your GPU, and select Update Driver. For NVIDIA or AMD users, Open your Control Panel NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Radian settings and check for driver updates. Make sure you install any updates available to avoid compatibility issues. Step 3. Run as administrator running Ardor 2 with administrator rights can help fix crashes caused by permission issues. Here's how to set it up. Right-click the RDR to shortcut or its .exe file. Go to Properties Greater Than Compatibility and check Run This Program as an administrator. Hit Apply and OK. This gives Ardor to additional permissions, which often resolves stability issues. Step 4. Switch to DirectX 12. Some setups handle DirectX 12 better than Vulkan, so switching to DirectX 12 can improve game stability. In Game, Open Settings, go to Graphics and find Graphics API. Select DirectX 12 and restart the game. Switching APIS can eliminate crashes caused by API conflicts, especially on certain hardware. Step 5. Perform a clean boot background applications can interfere with Ardor 2. So let's try a clean boot to load only essential services. Press Windows plus R, type misconfig, and hit enter to open system configuration. In the services tab, check hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. Open task manager, go to startup and disable each startup item. Restart your PC. This isolates the game from background apps, reducing the chance of conflicts causing crashes. Step 6. Adjust virtual memory if our DR2 is using a lot of memory. Adjusting your virtual memory can help keep it running smoothly. Right-click this PC, select Properties, and go to Advanced System Settings. Under Performance, click Settings, then go to Advanced and select Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives and set custom values for initial and max size based on your RAM, 1.5x your RAM for the initial size and 3x for the max size. Click OK and restart your PC. This gives Windows more resources to help run Ardor 2 without crashing. Step 7. Reinstall or update game and OS finally. If none of the previous steps have worked, a fresh installation can clear up lingering issues. Uninstall Ardor 2, clean temporary files, and reinstall. Also, make sure your OS is fully updated. Go to Settings Greater Than Update and Security Greater Than Windows Update and select Check for Updates. Updating your OS ensures compatibility with the latest game versions and fixes any deeper conflicts. And that's it. With these steps, your Red Dead Redemption 2 should run much more smoothly. Let me know in the comments if you found a particular step helpful or if there's anything else you need. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.